Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. So as you can see, construction has moved a little bit to the west side of Extreme Sky Flyers Pot of Land. So they've started doing some caissons and footings on this side. This is from inside the park. I have a truly exciting construction update for you guys filmed on the drone that will be out tomorrow or Thursday morning depending so for those that may not know I've been uploading my drone footage unedited not realizing I've been filming in D-Log which is grayscale essentially no color enhancements added and I've learned that I need to go in and edit this footage so you're gonna love what you see on the next update so stay tuned for that one just a little hint there's a lot more track and some new colored supports that have showed up so you're gonna want to see the next update anyways back on track as you see here a lot of work has gone on in the extreme skyflower plot of land a lot of footings and caissons in there um they are moving very quickly now there was a like a slight pause in developments over the last week and a half um but i'm telling you right now they have full force fledged ahead so as you see here um lots of work going on spray paint on the ground um those squarish rebar cages getting ready for um groups of footings and caissons so whenever you see groups of two three or four you'll know that they like to put in a concrete pad to attach all those as well for additional support. As you see here, a lot more tree clearing has occurred and some sad news, you're not gonna wanna watch, wanna watch the next update um, if you're a little nervous or sad about the tree removal because yes, it does look a whole lot different now. Um, a lot more holes in the mountain slash patched up until there is construction. So I think they're mostly done cutting holes now in the mountain outside of the actual circular hole that the coaster is going to exit out of. So definitely a change um, in pace. We just have one more hole to cut and they're holding off on that obviously for weatherproofing reasons. So that hole won't be cut until they absolutely need it to be open just because, you know, rain, animals, snow, um, weather, all of that um, that they're trying to avoid. Nothing new inside the mountain that's too exciting to film for you guys. Um, obviously, very little changes going on. A lot of the material has actually been moved out um, and not too much has taken place in there. But that's about to change because... They have vertical construction should be starting in about a week. That's going to be my guess. In about a week, we should see vertical construction starting. Um, there are some more shipments arriving a lot more rapidly now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we see constru uh, vertical construction starting in about a week. Um, just wanted to show you guys the various um, themed signs around the park. So this one's in Medfair. This one is in the... Uh, Frontier Canada leading into Kidsville. I thought this one should have been placed inside Kidsville. It's a little awkwardly placed, the color scheme in Frontier Canada. So that was a little off-putting to me, but who cares? Um, Fool's, Gold, Fool's Gold Bar is that new bar. So I love the sign department at Kenneth's One of them. Very talented. Love them. Um, and this is the one just in Frontier Canada near Splashworks. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's update. Stay tuned for our next one. Truly exciting. Have a good one, guys. Bye.